Hello Year 9s and parents. Um, welcome to Computer Science. Um, I hope this uh, presentation will give you a further insight to the course that um, you may wish to take um, for uh, Year 10. So we'll start off basically just giving you a bit of general information about the course. Um, we've already started doing that within the lessons, but um, I thought I'd just go in a little bit more detail here. Um, so I think there's a clear distinction between computer science and iMedia. Um, the focus on this particular presentation will be on computer science. Um, iMedia is delivered by Mrs. Johnson, so that's more of the creative element of the subject, while the computer science is more about how uh, computers work, so more underneath the hood, but also involves programming and so forth. So um, if you decide to go for the uh, subject, OK, so these are the different opportunities that um, will be on offer. So you'll have new challenges. Um, I have to say in computer science, we do have loads of challenges uh, throughout the uh, two year course. Um, but you'll also have the opportunity to master your understanding, um, not just within the classwork environment, but outside. So a lot of students would uh, sort of extend on what they've actually learnt and sort of put it into action as well. Um, You'll also learn how to break down and simplify complex problems. Um, and that's what the subject really does involve a lot of problem solving. You'll also construct new workable solutions, produce an end product, which is generally uh, the program itself. And also, um, I highly um, encourage all my students uh, to collaborate and share their ideas and working with each other so that they're not always just working in isolation so you get more out of it so trying to put it into almost like a real life um, work example um, now I have to say computer science is uh, very much a unique subject uh, in which um, there's a lot of subjects such as mathematics science and languages and IT they're actually all linked into this particular subject as, as a whole. Um, and a lot of the students who do have a, a really good keen interest in mathematics and science as well as languages um, do usually opt um, for this subject. Uh, computer science is also regarded as the fourth science besides chemistry, biology and physics. Um, there's the option of actually choosing possibly the two. And then this is basically considered as the third one. Um, of course, and as a subject, there's a natural progression to A-level uh, computer science. So um, this is the first uh, academic year we're actually offering computer science um, at Braden Forest. Um, going forward for next year, um, the numbers are actually increasing on that, which is a good. Um, now, in terms of how you're going to be assessed, um, of course, like with all examinations, um, in this case, you have paper one and two. So paper one will be primarily concentrating on programming and uh, problem solving. So 50% is actually focused on workable solutions, as what I said is uh, planning and programming. Um, so you have the opportunity to design, write, test, as well as refine your coding. Um, of course, this is not just one thing you will learn over one uh, period of time. It's something that will evolve over two years. So we have to sort of put it in context as if you are learning a new language. You need to keep practicing and keep developing and refining your solutions. So this is followed by paper number two, which is uh, linked to theory. Um, so 50% is, once again, is the, the other half. Um, basically, you're going to be assessed on like data representation. So that, list, that was like our um, second unit that we actually learned in this academic year in year nine. Um, and then also we've got cybersecurity. Um, there's a huge uh, keen interest and drive to move things forward on that. Uh, learn how to do uh, how computer systems as well as how networking works together. So a lot more focus is actually on the technical understanding how things work together. In terms of your learning, um, very much on what I um, have said before. Um, so you'll be introduced to new topics. Um, in this academic year, in year nine, we've already covered three topics or two. We're on, on the third one, which is Python. And we're going to do advanced Python later on in uh, year nine. So there will be new units. Um, so it will be quite fresh in terms of what you're going to learn. But also you'll have the opportunity to develop on what you've already learned, particularly in year nine. Um, you'll also develop uh, your programming skills and knowledge over the two academic years. Opportunities, once again, to work with others. There'll be also opportunities to work um, by yourself as well. Um, but having that sort of mix um, is, is quite beneficial and a lot of the students actually enjoy doing a bit of both. You also have the opportunity to extend your knowledge uh, once again outside the classroom on this one. 
Um, in terms of the subject and, and further opportunities, so I'll, I'll focus on the educational part. So um, computer science is an EBAC qualification. Um, the natural progression is uh, through uh, A-level apprenticeships and so forth. And then a lot of students will actually probably take that to even to the next level beyond that, which um, at a degree level. Now, computer science is highly regarded uh, definitely at university level. Um, now, this subject will also sit very well um, with maths, um, finance, engineering, science, medicine, business management, as well as languages. It's a very diverse course um, that actually links in with your specialist area of interest at a later point. Now, in terms of job opportunities, as we all know, uh, computer computing or the IT industry is continuously evolving, never stays the same. New jobs are coming on a yearly basis. So jobs uh, such as maybe uh, data mining, cybersecurity, robotics, it seems to be a big part of actually driving things forward. Um, but then we'll go through the traditional, which is programming, app development, network engineers, IT systems, or actually system analysis. So there's a, a, a massive range of um, further job opportunities in the future. But um, even if you don't go down that avenue, the fact is, if you have an interest in the subject, which is the mo one of the most important things, you have an interest in the subject, you're going to be working with it for two years. Um, there'll be a lot of um, uh, problem solving um, and a lot, a lot of like, trying to get your head around up, actually trying to understand how to move things forward and what's expected of it. So it's always been a success on that one. Um, so. I'm hoping I've, I've informed you with um, the relevant information that um, that might be of interest for you, but um, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, uh, please feel free uh, to come and uh, see me uh, lunchtime, break time, and um, I'll just answer any questions regarding the course that uh, you may need further clarification. Good luck.